I'm Mike, and this is my wife Gail. <laughs> we're the Quarmbies of Reedy Creek, and uh, we're at Reedy Creek Nursery, of course, um, which is the home of Outback Pride, Australia's largest supply of Australian native food ingredients. We produce about 30 to 40 tonne of Australian native foods a year, most of which come from Reedy Creek in the form of fresh herbs, fresh leaves, vegetables and fruits. We grow about 25 different species here at Reedy Creek. It was very much a starting small, feeling our way, but making sure we developed a market at the same pace as we were developing the, the produce going into it. And that has been the biggest job, of course, is convincing the world that Australia has its own cuisine and it's yummy. The turning point was about four years ago when uh, the celebrity chefs discovered us. We have to plant a thousand seedlings every week to keep our supply chain going. And if we don't do that, like at Christmas, you know, we're in a mess six weeks later because we let down the market. There's two different sides to the business. One is our, what we call our grocery side, and that has value-added products, which is jam sauces, relishes, chutney, cordials, dried herbs and spices, dukas, all of that sort of thing. Whereas the food service, which is all the fresh produce, it is designed to be consumed straight away. Same as salads in a supermarket, that sort of concept. It's picked here at Reedy Creek, it leaves within 24 to 48 hours, it's on the road, it's at the restaurant another 24 hours later. And so that happens every week, twice a week, we've got fresh produce direct to the restaurants. Everything is packaged in much the same way as you see in a supermarket, in plastic containers um, and or boxes, etc. Here at Reedy Creek, Say so a bunch of salt bush can be picked on Monday. On Wednesday, Kylie Kwong is doing a lovely stir fry in Sydney with it. I didn't know it would be such uh, an amazing fit for my Chinese style of cooking. Mike and Gail sent me a whole lot of samples of the native ingredients and look, it was like learning a new alphabet for me and it was a very exciting time. All of the ingredients are, whether it be the salt bush or the bao spinach or the Davidson's plums or the Kwondongs, all of these native ingredients seem to have a very natural simpatico with the Chinese flavour profile. They're sour, they're salty, they're bitter, they're crunchy, they're, they're soft, they're chewy. It's like a match made in heaven, absolutely amazing. It's amazing, it's kind of revolutionised what we were doing at Billy Kwong. The fact that it's farmed as opposed to being foraged is essential. We have a very busy restaurant that's open every night. I want to use lots and lots of native ingredients in my menu for all of the reasons and so therefore I need a large quantity every single week. Boxes and boxes and boxes arrive every Friday and that lasts us for the whole week. Fortunately for us their product is of such high quality, the shelf life is very long. They tell me each day or each week what is in season, what is out of season. A lot of the native fruits for example are very delicate and they're only in season for maybe four weeks, six weeks. So Mike always tells me that immediately and I special them in the restaurant. Because they've got such a short life, it actually makes them even more special. So we pass that on to the, the customers as well. They're like precious little jewels. Our diners have been truly amazing. They're adventurous, they're completely interested. Native Australian ingredients are an integral part of my food for now and for always. They're very much a part of my identity.